Okay, so I'm so just two squared, and here half m two u two squared. Okay, so we are just rearranging it. So here, of course, we can cancel all the m. All the half can be cancelled. Okay, so we're going to do kind of factorization now. On the top, the first equation, this equation, we're going to take out m one. So we're going to take out m one. So what is inside? U one minus v one. Here we take out m two. Factorize out m two. So we get v two minus u two. Okay. The kinetic formula now going to convert to what? M one. It's going to be u one squared minus v one squared. And uh, m two is going to be v two squared minus u two squared. Okay. So this is the third and the fourth equation. Eh? Okay. So now what do we do here? Yeah. We divide four divide with three because we want to cancel the mass. Four divide by three. The fourth equation divided by three. What do you get? You get uh u1 the u1 squared minus v1 squared eh? we can write like this eh? u1 minus v1 u1 plus v1 over u1 minus v1 do you agree with this yes. four divided by three four divided by three the fourth one divided by this, the u1 squared minus v1 squared, we can write as u1 minus v1, u1 plus v1. Any problem here? u1 u1 minus v1 plus uh, uh, times with u1 plus v1, you, you just times in, you get u1 squared minus v1 squared. Correct? So I hope you understand this uh, expansion. These two, eh? these two. Eh? The same thing you can do here. What will happen? V1 squared, V2, uh, this, this, this terms, eh? we can return as what? V2 minus U2. Then the other one is what? V2 plus U2. Okay. Over V2 minus U2. Okay. My teacher, how do I see your whiteboard? Because I saw my whiteboard. Oh, you can't see mine. Wait, I'm not sure which button is it. Because when I look and touch the whiteboard, it says I'll, I'm joining a whiteboard. But I don't see teacher writing anything. Okay, the other students, can you see the whiteboard? The others? No. 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 Oh, you can't see the whiteboard. Oh, my God. Wait. Because it says there's a whiteboard, but it's nothing wrong. Oh, okay, okay. Let me check, eh? This, this, uh, new feature, eh? Uh, let me open up the... Can you see now? Yes. Okay, nothing, eh? Okay. <laughs> Okay, class, I think I did a very long derivation already. <laughs> okay. So, okay, you see, eh, the one and two here, the one and two here, I've written at the side here. Okay. So, the I, what I did here, I just arranged the M1 to the left, M2 to the right. Okay. The momentum formula. The kinetic formula, I, as usual, the M1 I bring to the left, so I gather all the M1, and on the left, on the right is all M2. Okay. So the next line, what I'm trying to do, I factorize the M1 out. You see, the M1, M0, I just take out, so it's inside U1 minus V1. Last time was M1, U1 minus M1, V1. Now M1 I take out, so it becomes U1, V1. Same thing on the right, I take out the M2 out, factorize the M2 out, so it's become V2 minus U2. Okay, can eh? Okay, same thing I've done for the kinetic energy. See the kinetic energy, the half has been cancelled because can be cancelled. 
the m1 i factorize out so what is inside u1 square minus v1 square correct when the m1 is taken out as you will have u1 square and v1 square inside and same thing m2 factorize out you get v2 square and the u2 square okay so now i want to get this final formula as i told you earlier eh? for divided by 3 so the fourth equation this is the fourth equation divide by 3 you can cancel the m1 m1 will not anymore m2 also will be cancel you end up getting these two equations okay on the top here what happened on the top here actually i expand the u1 square minus v1 square you know u1 square v1 square when i expand it will be u1 minus v1 u1 plus v1 do you agree yeah U1 minus V1, U1 plus V1. You you times in, you get U1 squared, V1 squared, right? Huh? Okay, same thing I do here. V2 squared, U2 squared. I write it as V2 minus U2, V2 plus U2. Okay, I think another one step away for this equation. So what do we do? We cancel this because this is the same. So we cancel V2 minus U2, V2 minus U2. We cancel. So we left with what? Okay, let me rub this. Need some space, so I write here. Yeah, eh? Just rub this. Okay, sorry. This is annoying. Okay, so so right here, so you get u one plus v one equals to v two. Plus u2. Eh? So now bring the u1 the other side. You'll get u2 minus u1. Uh, I sorry. What I mean, sorry, I made a mistake. Eh? Bring the u2 the other side. Eh? The, to the left. So you get u1 minus u2 is equals to. Bring the v1 to the v1 from the, the left to right. So it become what minus v1. Uh, so you get the equation. Get the equation, eh? so same equation. So relative speed of approach equals to relative speed of separation. U1 minus U2 equals to V2 minus V1. Please memorize this. Eh? Don't mix up the U1 and U2. Don't say U2 minus U1. Always U1 minus U2. Then not V1 minus V2. You know V2 minus V1. Okay. This formula only works for what? Elastic must be elastic collision. It's not elastic. You can't use this. And another one, this formula is only correct by assuming all the particle before and after all of them are moving to the moving to where, moving to the right. All of them moving to the right. Okay. So yes, if let's say two particle before collision, this is u1. Okay, this u1 and this u2. Uh, before collision, they were like this. After collision, both of them. Moving like this. Okay, how do you modify this formula? U1 any change? U1 you still write as U1. Okay, uh, minus U2. U2 is to the left because this formula is designed for all moving to the right. It was derived by assuming all moving to the right. Because U2 is to the left, so we take U2 alone as what? Minus u two. Okay, if the direction is to the left. You must put minus. So finally, it become u one uh, plus u two. Okay. Then on the left side, on the side uh, after, after this v two, what happened to the v two? V two still to the right. So v two still we write as positive v two minus v one. V1 is to the left, eh? If to the left, because all must to the right. But if it's to the left, so V1 become negative, negative V1. So final answer is this: is the final answer, eh? U1 plus U2 equals to V2 plus V1 for this type of movement. Eh? If the direction change, if U2 change, then U2 become U2 itself become negative. Okay. If V2 change direction to the left, V2 itself become negative. Understood? Yes. Okay, so let's we check how well you understand this. This relative speed of approach equals relative speed of separation. Eh? So 
we go to the question uh, as usual. So, question. Okay, this question. Number two to eleven. Yes, relative speed of approach equals to relative speed of separation. Uh, sorry. What's the answer for this? U1 minus U2 equals to V2 minus V1. Okay, only applicable if it's an elastic collision. Thus, is it an elastic collision? So you must state that elastic collision. They say it's elastic collision. So which should be the answer here? Anyone? Anyone? Actually, class, you can chat, you know. Do you, you know how to chat, right? Mm -hmm. I think uh, if I go down, so I think you can press this button. Okay. This is show conversation. Eh? Only, only I can send messages. Only messages. You can you can type here. It, it only says owners. Only owners can. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So let me check that. Okay, uh, I go back to the question there. Eh? Okay, so what's the answer? Anyone? So then you can just voice out to me. A, B, C. A, A. All of you go for A, eh? Okay, let's be check. So, okay, the can. Okay, so u1 minus u2 must be equals to v2 minus v1. Okay, so in this case, uh, ua is u1. Okay, ua is u1. So ua because it's moving to the moving to the right. So we we just write as ua. Okay, no change in sign. Minus u2 is your ub. UB because move to the left, so UB itself you must write it as negative UB. Okay. V2, which is V2, your VB is V2. VB is to the right, so we just write VB. Eh? No change in sign. Minus V1, V1 to the right, so we write VA. So final equation is UA plus UB equals to VB minus VA. Okay, VB minus VA. So this should be the answer. Okay, so the U2 direction was, U2 direction is to the left, so it become negative. Uh, then only, that, that's the only direction change now. So the only U2 sign change become plus finally, eh? UA plus UB. Okay, so UA plus UB equals to VB minus VA. That's the answer, right, good. So those got A, good. So you follow the idea. Okay, let's move on. Just one or two questions. Okay, this one. So, let me answer. A, eh? Good. So all of you should be A. UX minus minus UI because UI is to the left. Eh? So UI itself must be negative. So UX plus UI must be equal to VY. VY because to the right, only change sign. VY minus minus VX because VX is to the left. Anything to the left, you must change the sign. Eh? So answer should be A. Okay. Uh, Final one. Okay, so there are many questions like that. Oh, where is it? Uh, last one. Eh. 
Okay, class. I think, yeah. Yeah, this one. Last one. Use the concept relative speed of approach equals to relative speed of separation. For this case, what's the answer? D. D, good. So the answer should be? It's D. C or D? D, D. D, right? Yes. Yes, should be D. Eh? U1 minus U2 is changing direction. So U1 minus minus U2. Eh? So it becomes U1 plus U2 equals to V2 minus V1. V2 minus V1 will change now all to the right. So V2 minus V1. So answer should be D. So this is relative speed of approach equals to relative speed of separation. Okay. So only used for elastic collisions. Okay, so let's we go back to the. I'm going to skip a few slides. Okay, this is all uh, is fine. This is just a, a complete inelastic collision. Uh, inelastic collision means what? A type of collision where kinetic energy is not conserved. Okay, uh, from five O levels, students used to tell that what is meant by inelastic collision. Some of them say that uh, a type of collision where after collision the body sticks together and move together. Uh, not really accepted, okay? It's a, not a good answer. The best answer you can say is elastic collision is a type of collision where kinetic energy is not constant, okay? Elastic collision means what? Uh, it's a type of collision where kinetic energy is constant. You just focus to kinetic energy, okay? So body collide, after collide, move separately. Is it can be elastic, can be inelastic? Collide and move separately. 99.9% it should be inelastic, okay? As it may be 0.1%, it could be elastic, okay? If collide and move separately. If collide and move together, 100% is inelastic, okay? We call perfectly inelastic collision, eh? Okay, so the total momentum before after are conserved, but the total kinetic energy is not conserved, eh? that's the inelastic collision, okay? A okay, comparison, elastic collision and inelastic collision, the only difference is uh, the kinetic energy. Eh? Elastic collision, kinetic energy is, uh, elastic collision, kinetic energy is conserved, inelastic is not conserved, okay? To prove whether it is elastic or inelastic, you must calculate the and compare the, the total kinetic energy before collision and after collision, okay? You must calculate half M, M1 U1 squared plus half M2 U2 squared is the same as after collision half m1 v1 squared plus half m2 v2 squared, okay? Or oh, now you have a new idea. Use what? Check relative speed of approach. Is it same as relative speed of separation? If it's same, then it's an elastic collision. This is the new approach. And I think found to be this easier, okay? So for example, uh, go back to the slide. So how to use the second step? Okay, let's say you have one body moving to the right with two meter per second, okay? And another body is moving to the right with one meter per second. Uh, after collide, after collide, uh, the first body is moving to the right, uh, to the left is five meter per second. Uh, sorry, not five. Let's say one meter per second, okay? And uh, this body is uh, moving to velocity V. Uh, with two, uh, let's say it's uh, two meter per second, something. Eh? Okay, let's say all the velocity is given. Mass, let's say given two kg, one kg, two kg, one kg. They're asking, check, is it an elastic collision or not? So your old method, what do you do? You check the total kinetic energy before, total kinetic energy after, is it same? Then you say it's elastic or non-elastic. But now, easy way is U1 minus U2, check, is it same as V2 minus V1? Okay, because this formula is found based on conservation of kinetic energy and momentum. Okay, so kinetic energy conservation has been considered here. So check, is it, what is the U1 minus U2 for this, this system? 
U1 how much? 2 minus U2 is how much? 1. So U1 minus U2 is 1. So relative speed of approach is 1. After collision, what is your V2? V2 is 2 meter per second. So 2 because to the right, so just write 2 minus the 1 is to the left. So we write what? Minus 1. So therefore, it become 3. So relative speed of separation is not same as relative speed of approach. Therefore, this is not an elastic collision. Okay. So that's what the second idea. How to check? Is it uh, elastic collision or not? Check relative speed of approach equals to relative speed of separation. I feel the second one is more easier to test, to use compared to the first one, kinetic energy. Another one thing, second one is free from mass. Okay, it's free from mass, no mass required. Okay, to check is it elastic or inelastic. Okay, hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, so you make use of relative speed of approach and relative speed of separation to check whether it's elastic collision or inelastic collision. Okay. Okay, so now, so that's what I told you. Okay, relative speed of approach equals relative speed of separation. Okay, so now, one example. Get me the answer for this slide, this question. Use your momentum, conservation of momentum, conservation of kinetic energy, look at this. One minute for you to understand the question. The mass of the block of wood, 2.5 kg. Eh? Okay. So here, what do you want? The mass of the bullet, 2.5 kg. Okay, 2.5 kg is, uh, so this is 2.5 kg. 2.5 kg was rest, stationary rest. Okay. And the mass of the bullet is 0 0.01 kg. This is 0 0.01 kg. Uh, the block swings to the maximum. Okay, the the bullet was strikes the block, and the block and the bullet rises up a height of 0 0.65 meter. Find the initial speed of the bullet. Bullet. What is the u1 of the bullet? Okay, how do you find this? How do you can link this height, which later can let to find the u1? Anyone? So how to find the initial velocity of the of the bullet? Any idea? Conservation of energy. Yes, use conservation of energy. Eh? The momentum. So you know the potential energy, the kinetic energy change to potential energy. So half what? M1 plus M2 v squared should be equals to half the total mass again m1 plus m sorry not half should be what mgh eh? m1 plus m2 gh okay so h is 0 0.65 so use conservation of energy you find what you find the v Okay, you need to find the V. V is the velocity these two body move together. Okay. After you find the V, how do you find the U? Based on what? Based on conservation of what? Momentum. Okay. Before collision, what is the total momentum? M1, U1 plus, because the block is in rest, so the momentum of the second body is zero, is equals to the both together. And eh? the both together, after collide, they are together. So M1 plus M2 V. Okay. So you can find the U1. Okay, you can work out the U1. 
because we already know. So we get it from the conservation of energy, put the V here, use conservation of momentum to hook out the U1. Okay, so anyone got the answer? So maybe the next slide. Three. So what you got? So use conservation of momentum. So M1, U1 plus M2, U2 is M1, V1, M2, V2. Okay, so when the bullet strikes the block, momentum is conserved. We are looking for U1. Okay, Vf, the final velocity goes up. So this is the U1. But through conservation of momentum, MGH equals to half MV squared. Okay, the height rises, the potential energy equals kinetic energy. So from here, we can find the final velocity. Eh? We can find the final velocity. Okay. Then the final velocity we substitute into the U1, you get your initial velocity. So anyone got the answer? What's the answer? So M1 and M2. M1 is how much? So go back. So what is the M1? M1. What is the M1 and M2? And we have this value. Eh? Give me the answer. Yeah, three significant figure. V is 3.57. V, V, V. V is 3.57. 3.57. Okay, so M1, M2, put M1 plus M2. M1 and M2, how much? I go back, eh? M1, M2 is. M1 is. Uh, where's M1? The bullet, right? Yeah, 0 0.01 kg. M2 is 2.5, eh? We don't put in M2 because it's 0, right? Is it? No, M2 is uh, 2.5, right? 0 0.25. The final law, why, why 0? Mass not 0, right? No, not 0, the speed, the initial speed. Yeah, the initial speed of the block is 0. Oh, so but here, the final formula for U1 is this, right? Yeah. So here, it does not involve the initial speed of the block one. Uh, yes. Just put M1, M2, M1, and the uh, final velocity lump. You know, it's 3.57. So, again, M1, how much? 0 0.1. Anyone got the answer? 897. 897. 96. 96. 96. 896 meter per second. 896. Okay, so conservation of energy and momentum to be used here. Okay. Okay. So find the final velocity of the arm movement. I think this is not that. It is okay. It's an easy question. You can give a try. I just keep this. Okay. This question or the answer? One minute for you. Give me the answer. Okay, this is a very interesting question. Eh? Do you understand the question? Eh? So apple of 200 gram is hanging, resting on top of a pole of five meter. So about five meter vertical height, it was the apple is hanging. Okay, then an arrow, arrow was uh, the apple is how much? Apple is 50 gram. Eh? 
sorry the apple is 200 gram 200 gram eh? 50 gram of arrow is traveling horizontally with the velocity u the arrow was traveling with the velocity initial velocity u and is 50 gram the apple and the arrow then falls together towards a point 8 meter away from the bottom of the pole determine u so after that the, the the apple and uh, of course the arrow make a projectile movement hit the ground they follow the ground with the arrow here with the arrow about 8 meter away okay this is the question eh? question is find the u okay so how are you going to find this? Anyone? Anyone can give an idea. How are you going to find the U? You use conservation of momentum. Yes, you can. You have to use conservation of momentum for the arrow and the apple. How do, how do you use the conservation of momentum for the arrow? Let's see, start from there. Can you conservation of momentum of the arrow and the apple? How the equation you write? The arrow is moving to the right first. Okay, apple was in rest. Okay, uh, then after collide, what happened? After collide, the apple and the arrow were, were, were together, moving forward with V. We don't know the V, and we are looking for the U. Eh? We are looking for the U. We're looking for the U. So how is the equation going to be? Uh, the mass, the mass of the arrow, which is how much? Fifty gram 50 gram uh, we put 0 0.05 and we write in kg 0 0.05 u plus the momentum of the apple because it's in rest is zero is equals to the both together so what is the new mass will be 250 gram right 250 grams so we write 0 0.25 v okay final velocity this is the first equation okay first equation but question looking for you yeah how do you find you to find you you stuck here because you don't know the v anyway can you find v how do you find v so v is the like an initial velocity of the projectile movement correct so this the the v is like the initial velocity of the projectile movement okay so how do you find the v so you have to use your projectile concept anyone can get can find me the v so you have to go for vertical and horizontal okay this is your kinematic knowledge okay. okay you want to find the v so ux is what ux0 or uy0 this is your ui ux0 or uy0 Anyone? This is like a horizontal launch now. So UX0 or UI0? The UX will be zero. Okay. Your UI will be what? Your UI. Oh, sorry, what I'm missing. UI will be zero, eh? <laughs> Not UX. UX will be what? Anyone? UX will be exactly same as exactly same as your V, right? Because the horizontal launch one. After collide, they stick together, they move together. It's a projectile movement. Eh? So can you find the V first? If you find the V, you can find the U. Okay, anyone can get me the V. So how do you find the V? You have three information in horizontal. AX is what? X always zero. Uh, do you know SX? SX is what? Mm -hmm. 8 meter. S good. SX is 8 meter. Uh, AY is what? Negative 9.81. Negative 9.81. Then SY is what? Negative 5. Negative 5. Okay. You want to find V? 
So you need three information on the horizontal. So what do you do? Find the find the time vertically. Substitute in U the T. Find the V. Okay, find the time first. This everyone find the time. How do you find the time? Time is the uh, S equals to U T plus half A T square, right? Half uh, A T square. So find the time. Let's we do it together. S is negative five. U was zero. Half A is uh, negative nine point eight one. So anyone? What's the time we got? G. So it's uh, negative ten over yeah negative ten over negative nine point eight one uh, around zero point something. Anyone? One point zero two. Ah, uh, so yeah, sorry. One point zero two seconds. Is it one point zero two? Negative ten over negative. Nine. Oh, square root double, square root right. T squared, eh? Square root right. Yeah, square root. So what do you get? Anyone? One point zero one. One point zero one second, eh? Okay. So you got the time. The time for it to come down is one point zero one seconds. So you want to find the v. So use the time. Find the v. V, what formula to use? The V, the U X la, the horizontal one, eh? so horizontal one. So what formula to use? So I just do on top, yeah. Eh? So S X equals to, I think U X T, right? Eh? U X T. So U X is the V, U X is the V, and the time is 1.01. It's how we got, and S X is how much? S X is eight meter. So get your V. So what's your V? In meter per second. So, anyone? What to be? Seven point nine two. Seven point nine two, eh? Seven point nine two, is it? Nine two, eh? Okay, seven point nine two. Okay, once you know the v, now you can find the u. Any term velocity. Okay. Because V you know already well, so put the V, seven point nine two, eh? Seven point nine two, okay. So work out your U. So based on conservation of momentum, momentum before should be equal to after. So zero point two five, uh, what times, uh, seven point nine two, the V divided by zero point zero five. Will give you the U. Eh? How much? Anyone? It mean the U. Eh? So zero point two five times seven point nine two divided by uh, zero point zero five. Okay, you get the U. So it's going to be uh, quite, uh, of course, big velocity than seven point nine two lah. Anyone? Three SF. Thirty-nine point six. Seventy-nine point six is it? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine point six. Eh? Okay. Thirty-nine point six. Okay. Thirty-nine point six meter per second. Okay. Okay. So this is how the working should be. And eh? this is a unique question. The momentum was together with projectile move. Okay. So we want to find the uh, Final velocity so that we can find the initial velocity of the stone. Okay, so any question from here? So, can okay. conservation of momentum is used? Eh? Um, is it wait the horizontal U was nine or seven point nine two? And then after that, what is it? V is uh, yeah, UX is seven point nine two, yeah. but UX is the V word. Oh, yeah, it's V. Uh, so, I should have used uh, UX, uh, UX the V. Okay, class, so any problem here? Yeah? Can, eh? So, so that, means, that means that the answer is what? 39.6 meter per second, U. So that means that we get which U or U of the... 
you get the U of the stone before collide. Uh, you have the U of the arrow before collide. That's oh, a so that UX is the U of the what? Which one? The UX is the UX, is it? Yeah. UX is the UX is the velocity of the both system together, right? System the arrow too. collide with the apple. The arrow and the apple moving down together, right? Uh, okay. that and then and after that use M M1 U1 plus M2 U2 equals to M plus 2 V. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's what we did. Uh, use the conservation. Okay, good. So as we proceed. Uh. Okay, so collision move with the same velocity. Calculate the common. Okay, this is our questions. Uh, last question here. Let me answer. Another one. What is the answer for A? How many U? Particle M traveling at the speed of U collide with A down with the identical particle which is in rest. The two particle couple after the collision. So how many U? One over two U. Yes, should be one over two U. Eh? One over two U. Total momentum before and after is the same. Total momentum before is mu. Total momentum after is uh, 2m, the new velocity v. Eh? We're looking for the v, new velocity. So it's found to be up here. Eh? Okay, v. What is the ratio of the kinetic energy after collision and before collision? EK, yeah, EK after collision, after, that means when they join up together, when they join up together, what is their kinetic energy over the EK initial? So EK after, what's the number, anyone? So it should be R. After they are joined up together, so mass is going to be 2m, right? And the velocity is found to be what? After is half u squared. Uh, initial before collide is half. Before is only m, only mass m eh, as a kinetic energy. So mass is m. And u is found to be just u, u squared. So this is how you have to place your values. So what's your final answer? Anyone? So you get half is it? You get half, eh? So final answer you get half, right? So it's half. Correct? The extra number is two and half one. Two is uh, two divided by four, so you get half. So half. So find the ratio of the kinetic energy of system collision before and after is half of the kinetic energy. That means uh, only 50% of the kinetic energy has been retained after collision. 50% has been lost. Okay, understand this slide? Any problem? Understand, eh? Okay. Okay, good. Okay. So this is uh, we are almost uh, going to be over with this topic. Just one. Sorry. Okay. So before we go to the question. Okay. So this is the summary. So we're done with the Newton's law. Okay, we're done with the Newton's law. We're done with the linear momentum of conservation, the principle of linear momentum, type of elastic and inelastic collision. Here, you need to derive the how to get u1 minus u2 equals to v2 minus v1, which I already show you. The relative speed of the approach equals relative speed of separation. We done that. Uh, we have some question about relative speed of approach and uh, separation. 
be done with the inelastic collision. Kinetic energy is not conserved. Okay. And uh, we also done with the explosion. Uh, before collision is zero, after collision as a value. The one we still left is uh, collision in two dimensions. This is what we're going to do next class, another one hour. Uh, an object collide, after colli collision, it might go in 2D. One can go up, one can go down. So how the velocity and uh, momentum going to be? So this is what our, our discussion going to be like the next class. Okay, so we will be doing this the next class. Okay, so today what you learn is today you derive the u1 minus u2 equals to v2 minus v1, and we did uh, plenty of questions how the momentum is used. Okay, so any problem today? Works, understand? Okay, so later from 12 to 1, eh, 12 to 1. Uh, a teacher, I'm 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 involved in a training, at a college training, online training. So I don't think I can have class from 12 to 1. Okay. So what I want you to do is during that that session, okay, please try out these questions to me. Okay. Uh, please take down. Okay. I'm just telling you some questions. Uh, try out this question to me. Question is uh, this one. November 9, question 9. November 9, paper 11. Eh? Question 9. Try out question 9. You take down. Then try out question 15. Okay, try out question 15. And also 10, sorry. So 10. Okay, 10, 15, and uh, Nine. These three questions long. Okay, it's going to be like your work. Okay. And also the last one, number nine, paper twenty-one, question two. The structure. Okay, just the structure. The structure question. Okay, so at twelve o'clock I won't be around because I'm having training. Okay, so any any questions so far? Uh, sir, we have to send it to you. No, no, need. just just give a try first. Maybe next next lesson we can discuss like we got a problem. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay then. Okay then. So if you don't have questions, so get ready for next lesson. Two dimensional collision. Get some idea. Uh, then another one lesson. We we will stop with this topic. Okay. So if you don't have question, we can stop here. Okay. So, so nobody can uh, chat here. Eh? No, it says only owners. Only owners. I go back to the team. Maybe teacher needs to put it as members. Maybe. If I put, uh, I think attendees, attendees, you are, at the side, you are labeled as attendees, right? Yes, yes, yes. Attendees can chat, right? But but it says right there, only owners. There's no like bar to put anything. This. Yeah, the meeting chat. Participants make a presenter. If I make a presenter, then you can control everything. If attendees, I think still can do. The others. The others, you can chat. No. No, eh? Okay, okay, let's we figure out that. Hey class, so see you then next class. Okay, so see you tomorrow.